Hi guys and ladies. Four years ago I made fish in black bean sauce to replicate what I once had at a Chinese restaurant. Well now I'm craving it again. So I picked up all I need for this at the Asian market. Uh, uh, except one thing, the fish. How about we shop for some at our own open air fish market? I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. So nervous. Let's get our fish on. Ah, help! I'm sure of it. Oh my goodness, I finally caught a fish. I've been out here a long time. I lost a couple of them and now I've got one. I don't care what the size is. I'm keeping him for the recipe. He might be a little oversized. I like to throw back the bigger ones and just keep the small ones. That's what the biologist said to do. 11 and 15 16 inches. Let me show you what I'm using. I was using a finesse TRD and that worked for one fish, but now I'm desperate. This is the action plastic shad grub and that little brown thing you see on it is a mealworm. I'm cheating. It's brutally cold out here. I am freezing. Well, at least there's a nice cool breeze. Oh, another, another beautiful eating fish right around the 12 inch mark. And I'm keeping them fish in black bean sauce. Ice has formed on my line. Look at that. I can barely cast. That's all ice. Icy line. That one. All right, right at the boat. I was finished with the cast. Good enough to eat fish in black bean sauce. Come on. All right, I caught a nice blue girl and it's safely in the boat. <laughs> Well, I can barely cast anymore because of the ice, but looky here, we've got these four nice eaters. Plus I've got plenty more in the freezer. So let's get back into the house and we'll fillet our tiny tunas. And tomorrow we'll make fish in black bean sauce. I wasn't ready for such cold temps this early in November, but somehow we managed to deal with frozen gear to catch enough fish to give us a pound of these, look, nice fillets. And I'm eager to make this black bean sauce recipe, but first, let's whip up some rice to go with it. Ah, I mean, low carb fake rice. Here's a large skillet on medium heat. I'm just gonna add a half stick of butter to it. 
These are pre-chopped onions for lazy people. Eight ounces. You probably only need like four or five ounces, but what the heck? Let's saute these for like 10 minutes. Our onions are turning brown already. Look what I've got here. Fake rice. Cauliflower rice from two different companies. I'm a, an equal opportunity employer. Frozen. Let's cook this cauliflower rice until it's soft, the way I like it. I'm just guessing, but here's about three quarters teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more. Let's mix that in. I don't know how this will work out, but I have a teaspoon of this Chinese five spice. Let's add it. I like the flavor. It's not in the recipe and I don't care. I've had this going for like 15 or 20 minutes. I even put the cover on it to further soften it, just like rice. So look, now I've got it where I want it. Let's just bowl it up and get on with our fishies and black bean sauce. Oh, texture is perfect. Oh, it's delicious. Tastes like rice. Rice with a little ginger hint, anise, that's the five spice. Oh, it's so good. It's really good. <laughs> so I got these from the Asian market, red chilies. And I'm supposed to de-seed 18 of them. That's what the recipe says. If you use 19, forget about it. Throw the recipe out, it's ruined. You do not want to itch your eyes while doing this. I know, I'm obsessive compulsive, but the recipe says I'm to cut these green onions into one and a half inch lengths. This one is in violation. I took out some extra fish from the freezer. I probably don't need it, but here are our bass from yesterday. And what I'm going to do is just try to chunk it up. Bite-sized pieces. We're back to the skillet again, and here are those chunked up onions. Let's, let's start sauteing them. Here's our bell peppers, three colors. Here are those 18 dried chilies. I'm supposed to saute 15 finely sliced pieces of ginger. I don't have time. This is for lazy people. Here's two teaspoons, heaping teaspoons of ground ginger. Let's add that. Here's our baby barracudas. Let's put them in. Mix them up well. Here are about six tablespoons of this. It's black bean sauce, fermented black beans and soy. It's salty, so be careful. Six tablespoons. This stuff is pungent. It's, it's called fish sauce. Let's put in about a half teaspoon. Yeah, what the heck. Here go a couple drops of concentrated Splenda, liquid Splenda. Ah, sesame oil. Let's put about a teaspoon in. Oh, the fragrance. It smells like, like chocolate, this bean sauce. It's amazing. Oh, you're going to love this, I hope. This is a cup of water. Here's about a half teaspoon of guar gum, a thickener. You could use xanthan gum. What I'm going to do is sprinkle the guar gum into the water and hope it doesn't clump. I'm going to mix it well. Now with time, it thickens. Healthier than cornstarch. Let's pour it in. Now we'll see if it thickens. Now for the final coupe de grass, I'm going to throw in these green onions. Oh, we'll turn off the heat and plate it up. Doesn't this look delicious? It's luscious. I'm going to keep our little beanie bass in a warm oven until dinner time. Well, our fish is in the oven, I should let you all know. The famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. Well, I'm overjoyed. 
Although I should cool my jubilation because you see, we've been seeing each other, well, since 1966. <laughs> Yet she doesn't seem interested in marrying me and I, I think she's I think she's looking for a more assertive man. Maybe if I show her that I can take control and be more dominant, then, then she'll fall for me. I don't know. It's my great pleasure to have here with me tonight the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Well, thank you immensely for dining with me here at my dingy, downtrodden double wide. And you had a chance to boldly bolt down my bass in black bean sauce. And I'd love to hear your opinion of it. It was very delicious. I enjoyed the, um, the main course, which was the fish with all the peppers and the very nice mm. black bean sauce. It was very good. I, yes, I, I, you know I took seconds. Oh, you and did. And the rice was very mm. good too. Yeah. And with the, you know, I love green onions. The rice was flavored with yes. five spices. Oh, it was very good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I liked it too. Miss Cheeks? Yes. Oh, I, I can say Lulu now? Yes. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, well, don't you think a woman is happier when she's well, married to a man who controls everything? You know, when a husband is in command. Mm. Uh, well, take our friends uh, Johnny and Dora. Well, just the other night they were arguing and he told me that Dora finally came to him literally on her hands and knees. Yes, Dora mentioned that to me too. She told him, get out from under the bed and fight like a man. Huh? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Can I have a hug? Mm. <laughs>